Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. So today I have with me a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas and I am going to use prism pores. Actually, I'm going to test prism pores to see if I can do um, a galaxy pore using the prism pore uh, acrylic paints. So uh, let's talk about the name of the uh, paints. The first one here, um, this first one is called Pink Diamond. And first what I did was I mixed this with a little bit of Josonia uh, varnish and then I added Floetrol to get my right consistency and this is the thickness that I have. The second color that you see this is called Tuscan Sun and again the same way I mixed it with Josonia and then I added Floetrol, US Floetrol um, to get my right consistency. The third color that you see it's called Fandando. Did I pronounce it right? Fandando. Excuse my pronunciation, but this is a beautiful, beautiful light green color. I like this color a lot. And you can see that if I, this is the thickness of my paint. If I um, swirl it, there is a trace, then it disappears. The third color that you see, such a rich looking purple color. And this one is called African Violet. It's indeed a very pretty color. And the last color that I have today, this one is called Bonfire. Oh, I love this color so much. Look at the, it's kind of like copper with orange. Uh, it's a beautiful color. Anyway, so let's start. So first of all, I have not done Galaxy Pore for a while. And on top of that, I'm experimenting. So bear with me. I will start with maybe, I just want this one in the center. So the idea is whatever the color you want on the center should be going first. I just sandwiched the purple with the two light colors. Last year, 2021, all I did was modified bloom. And I tried to um, experiment and I tried many new techniques uh, associated with modified bloom and tried to perfect that technique. On the process, I felt like I was not doing any other kind of pores. So this year, what I'm going to do is uh, once in a while, I will uh, experiment or I will try uh, other techniques rather than doing only modified bloom. So this is uh, one of those videos. Hopefully it will work out. So let's start.
Okay. So, let's see. What is that? Oops, something. Here I am contemplating of do, using my skewer to do some modification, uh, but I'm not going to do it. The reason is, is it's a test. First of all, I'm checking if I get any cells or if I get any mud if the colors retain their shapes and shimmers one, once they dry. So these are the things I'm looking for. So for now, I am not going to do any modification. Wow. The way everything is layered, it's so pretty. One thing I am noticing that since the colors are not opaque, the yellow and the green uh, has been stretched so much along with the other colors. Those colors have become uh, kind of transparent. The reason is uh, there's a very thin layer of the yellows and the greens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another little cup and put it at the center of this painting uh, and see that if those colors stay vibrant. I'm really curious to see how it dries. I can't wait. Okay. The yellow looks really vibrant, doesn't it? And how about I spin it and see what happens? be okay.
Should I mess around? Oh, why not? But how? Basically, anything you do to create some interest in your, your art. Now I am going to stretch it to the other direction. I just wanted to see that if we could, could do the normal traditional pores using these kind of um, paints. If we could, it would be really awesome. Because I love, love, love the way they shimmer and shine. I am going to let it sit. I'm not very keen about the composition of this one rather than I want to see that if they retain the shape and the shimmer and the colors as bright as it is when it dries i'm going to bring you closer to show you the beauty of this uh paints so i don't know if you can see these i just changed my position and i hope you can see the shimmers and the glitters oh. They are so pretty. I just want to make sure that they can retain their colors as they dry. And uh, they don't get muddy as they dry. That's all I care about on this experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And you are also, we are all figuring out everything together. 
because these are all new companies and they are creating new paintings paints for us which is awesome we just want to make sure that it works for all different type of techniques for pouring see look at these oh, they are so pretty so let's let it dry and i will show you later after it dries this is the dried result as you can see the all the colors are nice and shimmery of course it dried now but if you put a top coat it will shine again but you can still see the shimmers and the glitters that they have i don't see any cells and that's okay because usually on these kind of uh, pores if you add metallics with the regular uh, acrylic uh, paints only then you see the cells but um, usually on if you are using all metallic with glitters and shimmers you will not see the cells and that's what you are seeing here right now so i wanted to show you in close up see you can literally see the blues and the greens now oh now i can see just show you the right real color since i changed the direction see you can see all the details so yeah only thing that um probably this side i when i stretched it too thin it kind of became light colored but um that's a mistake on my part and other than that it turned out really pretty there we go thank you so much for being with me and going through this experiment until next time bye oh something here well i should have picked it up when it was uh, wet now it's stuck but other than that, it looks really nice. Thank you, guys.